Hello everyone, I am the Tronster Effects, and I don't know why there's a glitch. But refresh. Okay, um, anyways, I am the Tronster Effects here, and basically, it's gonna be a new series called Tutorial Friday. Um, and also, I know I'm gonna do a sync tutorial very, very soon. I mean, like, basically tomorrow, maybe, if I, if I have time. But basically, um, for this tutorial, I'm going to start off with, basically, how to make a simple skin render in Cinema 40. Simple, easy, and yeah, let me just open up my Cinema 4D, basically. So first, just open up your Cinema 4D. Um, yeah. If you guys don't know, this is my actual first video, not intro, video on this channel. Because I revamped, so don't assume that I a bot, because I don't actually. Uh, okay, let's open up my Cinema 4D. So after your cinema 4 you is open, just click file and file open and this link for the frost rig uh v4 will be in the description below so you guys can download. So just open it up and just double click and now you guys can exit out. So now you guys have the screen like this. Now go to the settings basically and with uh recommend twelve eighty by 720 so this is just um this is 720p basically right here um and now go to anti-analyzing click best and now go to effect ambient occlusion and i recommend checking uh evolute if you have a second um layer on your skin um just click on the trans that evalue i don't have to pronounce this transparency check on that if you have a second layer because that's going to be useful now i go to effect and then global el elimination this and that's really it now you guys can exit all that and now uh if you guys know how to use them before you just like really just move around until you have a good like position of the player basically or the rig now uh, i like adding a camera so yeah and then after you add a camera now you can move around and if you want to go back to the camera click on the this like camera thing right here click on it and it goes back to the camera so pretty cool pretty cool now uh there's different like tools up here that can help you i like using the rotation tool and you guys see these boxes just click on them and just rotate and you guys can see it does something but for this right here this box if you rotate it looks really weird so some places you need to use this tool the move tool so I move it down and stuff like that so basically just move it around the move around the boxes until you have a good pose after have after you have a really good pose that you like I'll rush this um, so yeah let me just rush this okay now after you have a good pose this is not my best but I suppose but anyways, after you have a pose like something like this, but hopefully better, just go back to the camera. Um, I'm going to rotate a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. So um, now put it. Okay, now if it looks good and everything, click on the actual rig itself. Click on it and go to the FMR 4.0, and you see the skin file and see these dots. Click on it and go find your skin basically. Make sure it's in 1.8. If it's not, I will give you guys the skin convert. Um, so you guys can convert your skin to 1.8 and everything. So now after you do that, um, use the scroll thing to scroll down. And I like unchecking all these. Except the eyebrows. And uh, if you have a hat layer, click on this eye. To enable it and yeah pretty much it but if you do have a second layer make sure you uncheck this transparency thing so let's get out of my camera so now um basically you think everything is good and gucci like that's what i would think actually everything's not gucci um click you see this light hold on it and go to target light i mean spotlight I think. yep spotlight 
So now you just make it bigger. I'll just make this one bigger. And now we're just gonna rotate it. And I'm um, gonna put back a little bit. That. Now we're gonna click on the light, and then we're gonna click on ambient occlusion, right? Uh, I mean ambi ambient elimination right here. Just check on that. Now let's go back to my camera. Uh, and um, if you guys do want some tools to hold, click on the rig again. Go to FMR 4.0 tools, and I like the scale to be 90. And you can just choose any weapon or thing you're choosing. I'm just gonna choose a real quick pickaxe. So after you do that, go to render settings once again, go to save and PNG, alpha channel, because you want that transparency of the skin render, depth, 16 bit, and just basically just click those dots, go to desktop and just name it and click save basically. Now you can exit out of that and now click on the render button right here, just click on it and now it should be rendering. Uh, that's how you do that's how you make a skin render you guys um pretty in depth in my opinion uh hope you guys enjoy let's just watch this kind of do its thing <laughs> it's gonna take a while you guys but i am recording and i have a slow computer so yeah but anyways it looks fine really good so it's just rendering right now uh let's just wait Okay, so yeah, this is uh, episode one of Tutorial Friday. Um, more will be uploaded in the future, basically. I mean, every Friday, basically. So you guys can see this looks really cool. Um, you guys see these pixelated stuff, basically. Um, it's really out uh, anti-analyzing. Just boosts this up really to the highest if you want to. No matter how fast your computer is, but after you have your skin render. Um, I like opening Photoshop now. Everyone should have Photoshop, but, um, if you have GIMP and everything, it should be the same thing, basically. Um, just import it. And if you did everything correctly, you should have a transparent background and everything it should look like this. So you just double click on it. You should know how to use Photoshop by now. Drop shadow and, um, pass you 100 distance. Zero, size, 30. These are my settings right here. And I use a little bit inner glow to make it a little glow and I use a white for this and uh, choke I usually put 20 and for size I use 32 I mean 30 so now there's like a lot like you can easily notice there's some so you, we're gonna put down the opacity down all the way to uh, 12 um, or 10 I like doing 10 the most so um, now I'll click OK, and that's how you do it. That's how you make a really cool skin render. Looks really cool in depth. That's how I make all my skin renders. But hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you guys, do go hit that like button, go subscribe for more epic videos. That's how you make an HD skin render. You guys enjoy, and peace.